For the past 50 years or so, the family unit globally has been under constant attack. We must realize the importance of the traditional family unit and restore it legally, culturally, socially, in order to stop violence against women, children, and in some cases, even men. In addition, girls should be allowed access to education yes. to enable them to make informed and healthy choices for their families later in life. Apart from education, I also challenge the county government to ensure that women and the youth are incorporated into income generating activities and that they have access to finances to start businesses. A society that excludes women and youth from social, economic and political participation cannot realize its full potential. This is why I congratulate Mrs. Kazia Waidaka for championing the education of girls and the empowerment of women. I'm aware that the Nyandarwa County Government is making every effort to rehabilitate youth once shackled by alcohol and drugs. The war against poverty cannot be won unless we adequately address the problem of alcohol and substance abuse amongst our youth. Let us continue to counsel them and give them work to ensure that they are productive and that they have an outlet for their youthful energies. On the health front, I'm happy to see that the existing hospitals, health centers and dispensaries in the county are being upgraded and requisite facilities and staff provided so as to enable them to serve the people adequately. Congratulations on this.